Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine Blueprints video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood how to create new projects in Unreal Engine. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to open a project in Unreal Engine. We understand different ways of opening a project in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. Let's understand the first way. I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. You can see that Unreal Project Browser window is open. Under Recent Projects section, click on the thumbnail of the project that you want to open. For example, I want to open Blueprints Tutorial Project. I click on the thumbnail and then click on Open Project button. You can see that Blueprints Tutorial Project is open guys. So that's how you can open a project guys. I click on double arrow button click on the play. Now we are in the play mode. We can look around the scene using the mouse. Using WASD keys we can navigate around the scene guys. If I press the W key we move forward S backward A left D right. Like that we can navigate guys. I press the escape key to come out of the play mode. I close this project. Let's understand the second way guys. I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. You can see that Unreal Project Browser window is open. In case if you do not find the project that you want to open in the recent project section, then click on more button. It displays list of your projects guys. If you still do not find the project that you want to open, you can search the project by its name here. In the filter projects text box, search the project by its name guys. For example, I say FPS. What it does? It lists the projects which contain FPS word in the project name. For example, I want to open FPS project. Then I select the thumbnail and click on open project. You can see that FPS project is open guys. That's how you open a project. I click on double arrow button. Click on the play button. Now we are in the play mode. We can shoot. We can navigate around. We can jump. Right. I press the escape key to come out of the play mode. I close this project also. Let's understand the third way of opening a project. I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. You can see that Unreal Project Browser window is open. If you do not find the thumbnail of the project that you want to open in the recent project section, of course you click on more button. If you still do not find the project that you want to open, you search here. If you still do not find the project that you want to open, then click on the browse button guys. Click on browse button and then locate the folder. I click on the desktop. I want to open third person shooter project. So I select the folder. After locating the folder, click on open guys. Next select the file which says Unreal Engine project file. Select that file which is an Unreal Engine project file guys. Then click on open. You can see that TPS project is open. So that's how you open a project. I click on double arrow button, click on the play and then we can navigate around using WASD guys. Using the mouse I can look around, press the space bar to jump. We can go left, we can go right, forward, backward, press the escape key to come out of the play mode. Like that you can open a project in many different ways guys. For example, if you have already opened a project like we have opened TPS project, right? Let's take I want to open FPS project. What I can do is I can go to file menu, click on open project and then select the FPS project and click on open project button. You can see that FPS project is open. Like that in many different ways you can open a project in Unreal Engine guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest to people to try whatever I told. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about blueprints. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.